this is about the difference between function declaration and function definition. We are trying to understand what is function declaration, also known as prototype declaration, and what is function definition. In this case, the function average is created after it is called. The call to function comes first, then the actual function. So what is happening? By the time C compiler comes to this, it knows nothing about average function. There is no information about average function by the time it comes here because we didn't mention anything about the function. So C compiler understands this function is taking two integers because A and B are integers. And that is okay. But nothing about the return type is mentioned. So by default in C, a function is expected to return integers. When C compiler is not informed about the function, it assumes the function returns integer. So that is the assumption the compiler has here. This is still fine because if compiler assumes average returns integer, we can still copy integer to float. No issue with that. So at this point, there is no problem. But the compiler already assumed the function returns integer. Why did it assume integer? For two reasons. Number one, that is the default return type in C. When nothing is explicitly mentioned, C assumes function returns integer. So default return type is integer and that is taken. And Nothing else is mentioned. We didn't mention anything about that function till now. So we are leaving C compiler guessing and it assumed function returns integer. Though that is not a problem here, when we come to this, that is a problem. How come? Now it encountered a function which is taking integers. The assumption is fine but it returns float, which is not what the compiler expected. Compiler expected average to return integer, but average is now returning float, not integer. So there is a mismatch between what the compiler expected and what we are actually returning from the function. And if you go and check the error message by using the log, you can see clearly in the log, you can see it shows that there is a problem with this. Look at that. So it is saying error conflicting type for average. And one more important thing, it is already assuming implicit declaration for function average. It already assumed something about the function. And that is the reason why there is a problem. And here it is saying incompatible implicit declaration of built-in function printf. There is a warning regarding printf also. Because even about printf, we did not mention anything. So it just assumed something. In fact, the assumption of printf is right. Printf does return an integer. Though we never used it, printf does return an integer. But coming to our function in line number 11, it is saying conflicting type means it assumed it returns integer, but in reality, the function is returning a float. This is not acceptable to C compiler. So this can cause issues. The solution is number one, take this and put it above main means create the function before you call it if you create the function before you call 
no errors. Forget about warnings, but no errors. There is no error. That is the reason why you might prefer to do it. But it's not practical to create the function before you call it always. So the alternate to this is keep the function where it is, but just inform to see about the function. So this is where I say float average int comma int. This is a way to tell compiler that we have a function called average that takes two integers and it returns flow. We are informing to compiler about this function. Now, when compiler comes to line number nine, no confusion, no assumption, because already the function is provided to compiler in the sense all the details about the function are known to compiler. So it knows this takes integers and returns a float. No assumptions because everything is clearly known to compile. So this is called as function declaration and also known as uh, more popularly prototype declaration. Prototype declaration or function declaration both mean the same and this declaration indicates what is the function, what parameters it expects, what return type it has, and this information is making compiler understand the function. So make sure you always uh, declare the function, and this is called function definition. This is function definition. Declaration is uh, just informing about the function parameters and return type. Definition is where you write the body. Especially when definition comes after call to function, you always need to declare the function. At least it's a good practice, if not mandatory every time. And that is the reason why even for print, we are getting a warning though not an error. Look at that. When I build it, now this is not an error anymore, but for printf, we are still getting warnings. You see here, this is a warning about printf because compiler still doesn't know anything about printf, but we are straight away using print. Well, that's the very reason why you give hash include stdiword.h. So now you understand why one should give hash include stdiword.h. You need to give this because this contains prototype declaration of functions related to standard input output, like printf, scanf, and many other. By including this stdiword.h, we are including prototype declaration of all these standard functions related to input output. Now go and build, you will build without any warnings. You can see the difference between the previous one and this, no warnings because this is where the declaration is provided. Many incorrectly tell you, Library functions are present in stdiword.h. Maybe they do it to make beginners understand it, but accurately, if I have to put it, stdiword.h is called header file, also called as include file because we include it using include directive or include statement. We will see later what is this include because it belongs to a topic called preprocessor commands. For now, it's just a command. It includes the content of stdiword.h. So whatever is there in stdiword.h, that will be replacing this. The content is placed here. So what is the content of stdiword.h? the prototype declaration of printf, scanf, and others. So by including this, 
we are just providing information about those functions to C compiler. And that eliminates all warnings. And later, of course, you need this in order to include some structures and others. But so far, its importance is only to the extent of providing prototype declarations for standard I.O. functions. So it does not contain functions. It contains only declaration. You can see very clearly here, declaration and definition are completely two different things. Declaration is only about what the function expects as parameters, what it returns as the return type. And definition is where you write the whole body for the function. So there is a very clear distinction between declaration and definition. So header files only contain the declaration of the functions, not the definition. That is the reason why even though I don't have it, I can still compile, but of course, with warnings, but I can still compile. You see, the warnings are bad. But it is not an error because if without prototype also, in many cases, you can uh, compile and successfully run. So it is incorrect to say you must include stdio.h in all cases. It is right to say by including it, you are going to provide information to compiler. So that compiler need not worry about guessing. So that's about your stdio.h. So if somebody told you, you must have it, that's not the correct statement. If somebody says you better have it, that's right. Because always you better have it. But in few cases, you must have it. You will understand that when you deal with file handling and other topics. But for now, I want you to understand the difference between function declaration and function definition. So these are two different things. And sometimes we need to declare the function first, then define. But if it is possible, you can directly define then you don't need a separate step like declaration. But I want you to know that there are two things, declaration, definition, prototype declaration. So this is about the difference between function declaration and definition, a very important concept in uh, C language. There are other languages which do provide this kind of facility, but in C, it is, of course, very, very important. And also in this context, we understood what is hash include and why are we including it? Just to provide information related to functions, related to STDIO, means standard input output. Okay, so that's uh, what I want you to understand in this discussion. 